discovery of the stationary terrestrial waves, also known as standing waves, indicates that despite its vast extent, the entire planet can be thrown into resonant vibration. can manipulate water and even solids. This just keeps getting louder. Two weeks after a man fell into a sinkhole in his yard in Montford, geologists are weighing in on what made this one so unusual. NBC 15 Sonica Bargo spoke to an expert who visited the site about how something like this happens. I thought I was going to be buried alive. I really did. Two weeks ago, Brandon Post was walking in his yard when a hole opened up under him. I couldn't hardly look up at the hole because the dirt was still falling and, and rocks and dirt are hitting me in the head. A neighbor finally heard Post's calls for help and called 911. Post was rescued by Montfort Fire and the Grant County Sheriff's Department. I owe my life to them guys. Geologist David Hart says sinkholes are not uncommon in Wisconsin. But the one Post fell into is unusual. Usually they're about 10 feet across, 5 to 10 feet across, and maybe 5 to 10 feet deep. And, and usually they're not so vertical. They, they, they kind of slope in a bit. Um, and usually they're not so dangerous. Hart and his colleagues lowered a camera into the sinkhole at Post's home, as you can see in this video. Hart says there might be a fracture in the earth which could lead to more sinkholes but he has to do more work to be sure. What we saw in the um, geophysics and the resistivity imaging could, might just be the trench for the water main. And I don't want to cause unnecessarily, unnecessary alarm and worry. Sinkholes often form after heavy rain. Hart says the water washes soil deep into the ground until a thin layer is left on top. After that, the hole usually collapses on its own. One way to prevent sinkholes is to stop water from pooling. If you have an area where a sinkhole forms, make sure it's not, not a low spot. Mound the soil up there and uh, kind of keep the water from moving away from it. Reporting in Madison, Sonica Bargo, NBC 15 News. Hart says he and his colleagues will visit Post's house again in November to see whether more sinkholes are still possible. Post has filled up that existing sinkhole with 15 tons of rock and three cubic yards of concrete. Sinkholes are common where the rock below the land surface is limestone or other carbonate rock, salt beds, or in other soluble rocks such as gypsum that can be dissolved naturally by circulating water. geophysics at Stanford University where Ariana Gleason, she's a PhD, she's in the Department of Geological and Environmental Sciences at Stanford University. I did not know what the science would be, but she had been published about her studies of changes in the central core of the Earth, and it turns out that they, there really are measurements that seem to suggest that the inner core and the outer core of our planet has changed from a sphere spinning to something that is now more oblong, and they think it is causing infrasound coming through the Earth. And is it related? 
to all of the sinkholes that have been increasing, the Stanford University geophysicist said, I cannot rule this out as a hypothesis because that infrasound in some circumstances could go up to the ionosphere, be bounced back, and where it is bounced back to the surface of the earth, be heard as audible, actually loud sounds. That infrasound is emanated from a whole host of things. Could it be generated for, from something that is changing inside of the earth? Infrasound can, under certain circumstances, when it collides with something called a relay wave, which can be generated by changes in the Earth's crust, when those two come together, it can be like a megaphone, it can be like a boom, and it can be as isolated as one house or two houses. Another round of mysterious blasts have people in Bucks County scratching their heads. The latest happened on Brick Tavern Road in Milford Township yesterday afternoon. A late night loud noise that will not let up is plaguing a part of Pennsylvania. No one seems to know the source of the mysterious booms. Top investigators are now helping to unravel the mystery in Springfield Township, Haycock Township, Milford Township and Quaker Town. Hundreds of people say that they have heard and been shaken by this explosion like sound that rocked them out of their beds in the middle of the night. And without a clue of what is going on, local police have gone to state and state police have now gone to federal investigators. Here in Upper Bucks County, something has been going bump in the night. I thought maybe somebody was making a tunnel or or space junk fell out of the sky. From poachers, you know, gunfire to uh, explosions to sonic booms. There has been no shortage of theories, but still no answer as to why so many residents have been jolted by a mysterious and near deafening boom sound. It's a rumble. It actually like rumbles the ground like an earthquake would happen, but with a loud like Everybody is worried because nobody knows it's what it is. become the talk of the neighborhood. I don't know, and it's kind of scary because I, I started thinking, well, maybe it's underground somewhere. Something is happening underground somewhere. Reports span miles from Quaker Town and Coopersburg to Spinnerstown. The ground is actually almost shaking. The buildings are shaking, ceiling tiles are moving, um, windows rattling. Chief Richard Fico describing calls to his and other area departments over the last 45 nights or so. Definitely disconcerting. I would say it's probably unnerving to some people. The sounds come overnight, midnight to five. Some witnesses describe a kind of thud like vehicles slamming together. Others reminded of underground blasting. In Richland Township, the chief says two of his officers heard the sound one for seeing a flash. Where there was a, a flash of light and uh, maybe several seconds before he actually heard the sound. And then the other officer who was further away heard the sound later than he did. And, then, and they both thought it was coming from different directions. More questions and answers as to what caused a fiery hole to form in Baxter County. County officials have ruled out meteorites and lightning strikes as the cause of this hole. Flames shot out of the ground. State geologists are also looking for an answer to this. A lot of people involved. County leaders also say they used a camera to find the end of the hole. And they found it. Guess what they found? A creek. Now they're awaiting results of soil samples while they endure the theories about just what exactly this may be. Officials in BC are trying to figure out why dozens of birds literally dropped from the sky.
President Kevin Beach sent us this photo. He says a large group of birds fell into the pavement last Friday. Officials are now looking into the incident, calling it a rare mortality event. Two. Bird song, for example, is a sound which most people find reassuring. There's a reason for that. Over hundreds of thousands of years, we've learned that when the birds are singing, things are safe. It's when they stop you need to be worried. In the ancient mystery school of Egypt, Athens, and Rome, sound was understood to be the fundamental creative force of the universe. The very shape of the pyramid is an amplified receiver or resonator of various kinds of energy fields, such as electromagnetic waves, cosmic rays, electrical discharges, and gravitational waves surrounding the Earth. Throughout history, ancient monuments have been constructed along an invisible line spanning around the Earth the distance of 25,000 miles. And there is an astonishing accuracy to this alignment. Not coincidentally, the distances between all of these sites all equal the same when multiplied by the golden ratio. That's possible that they are all so precise. They are that way for a reason. And if they're natural amplifiers and resonators, then maybe they are there to help the earth. Sound waves are formed when a vibrating object causes the surrounding medium to vibrate, and a medium is a solid, liquid, or gas. Then what is the outside force causing this vibration on the Earth? What if there was a 10 mile radius neutron star within our binary solar system, and a brown dwarf, and they were all orbiting their sun, Nemesis? There is so much about the universe that we have no idea about. We're learning every day, every week, every year. What if this other solar system is affecting the Earth in sound, in vibration, in frequency, in energy? Perhaps it's just part of symmetry of the universe and of our binary solar system. Apocalypse is a disclosure of knowledge, a lifting of the veil, or a revelation. Thank you for watching, and much love to you all.